this is Mindy from Camping Earth, and today I'd like to show you how to make a very simple solar oven. Now this is a very important skill since a lot of places across the country have burn bans going across where you cannot build a fire, you cannot cook with any type of flame. You can still cook at a campsite using a solar oven though. Now, the pieces that you're going to need for the solar oven are very simple. You're going to need aluminum foil, just your typical aluminum foil that you use in the kitchen. You're going to use some type of glue. You can use duct tape if you're in a predicament. You're going to need either a clear Ziploc plastic bag, saran wrap, or if you had muffins for breakfast this morning, the plastic container, you can take that apart and you can utilize the lid. You're also going to need a small plate a black plastic bag, and so that's all you're going to need. Optional materials that you could use would be thumbtacks, string, or sticks, and I'll explain those optional items in a little bit later in this video. So let's just say that you ordered pizza last night, and you're wondering what to do with the box. You can take it home and recycle it. Since you can't build a fire, you can't uh, eliminate the box that way. And you really don't want to have to carry at home just an empty box. You can turn it into a solar oven. And what the solar oven consists of is the lid is covered in aluminum foil. And like I said, you can glue it or you can use duct tape to hold it down. The black plastic bag can either be cut and glued down to the bottom or it can be folded so that you can reuse the black plastic bag for leave no trace and carrying the trash out of your campsite. You're also going to need a plate. If you have a black plate, that's great, but if you don't, you can use any color plate, and I'll explain the difference later on in the video. So after you've created your solar oven by applying the aluminum foil to the lead, laying down the black plastic, we're gonna put some chips. Now this won't cook a chicken, but this is a great oven to use to cook the kids a snack, and actually teach the kids some science while you're at it. So what you're going to do is you're going to put some chips on top of the plate. You will then cut your grated cheese on top of that. And then this is where these lids come in. Now, if you're using the Ziploc bag, simply pick the plate up, slide it in the Ziploc bag, and seal it up. If you're using the saran wrap option, wrap the whole plate in saran wrap. But I'm going to use the lid. Now the optional items come in at this point. How a solar oven works is you want to actually concentrate the sunlight onto the aluminum foil so that it hits this black plastic. Black absorbs heat. You've actually created a closed environment here and that environment will warm up and cook whatever is inside here. So those are the basic principles of a solar oven. If you don't want to have to prop something back here to get that proper angle that you need for the sunlight, you can actually poke two hoes one on each side here, run string, and then attach it to thumbtacks that you can put here. That way you could adjust it and the string would hold the lid at the angle that you need it. So this is all there is to just a very basic solar oven. Like I said, it's a great alternative to cooking, cooking a snack, heating some rolls up, but again, it won't cook a chicken. Later on in this series, I'll be teaching you how to build a solar oven that you could actually cook a whole chicken in. So until we meet at our campsite again, this has been Mindy from Camping Earth.